Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review the Apex RK3 fins. These fins were initially designed in conjunction with the US military, and this particular version of fin has seen many, many years of service within the military. This is a recreational version of that, obviously because it's bright pink. I don't foresee the military running around in the bright pink fins when they're out in combat. Those ones obviously would have been the black or camo. But since the fin has moved on, uh, Apex have launched these in a variety of different and really funky colors. You get yellows and whites and blacks and obviously this shockingly pink, pink, which I think is really funky. So let's just go through the fin design and overall benefits. First off, they come in a pair and uh, they are what we call omnifootical. So the left can go on the right and the right can go on the left. Makes no difference. So let's just move this guy out the way and review the single fin itself. Starting at the back, you see that it comes with the Apex Bungie Spring. So it's a marine grade spring at the back over there. So that's not going to rust. And that is attached to the fin itself with a, a nut and bolt going straight through the fin itself. So there's no chance of this coming off. And I really like the pull tag that they've got at the back over there. It makes it really easy for you to grab and pull to get your boot on the inside of the fin itself. There is a really big foot pocket on this fin, so it's quite generous as far as space is concerned. Um, so you just need to watch the sizing. The boots can be used with dry boots, and if you are using dry boots or a really big boot, you would go for one of the much larger fins, the large or the super size. This being a medium size, where this medium could take up to a size nine, like not size nine or size ten normal um, scuba boot. So you just need to double check sizing before you purchase because the foot pocket is very very, very big. There is a reinforced section over the top over there just to give the fin a lot more strength and prevent it from ripping and tearing. And then there's a grooved section on the inside there just to make it easier for you to get your slide your feet in and out. There is a hole at the top over there and that is really easy for you to use a carabiner to clip the fins to your gear if you're walking a distance down to the beach or to hang them up in your gear room. And the same goes for the bottom of the fin itself. There's a ring at the bottom there makes it easy for you to clip on with a carabiner if you're walking down to the beach or if you wanted to hang it up in your gear room. Going down to the fin blade itself, there's four distinct channels with really chunky channel heads over there and that creates big grooves in the fin so it's quite a stiff fin to use you'll find when you start finning with it for the first time there's hardly any movement in the fin itself so it's quite a deliberate fin or frog kick movement that works best with this type of fin the normal um, flutter kick will work but much more effective if you're doing the frog kicks and that gets used in uh, the tech diving cave diving as well as the military as well much more efficient way of scuba diving too but all to you to try figure out what works best for you so that's why the grooves are there and that gives us fin a lot of rigidity there is is three holes on the inside there or channels so as you fin down or up on the upstroke it'll take the water and channel it through the fin and then allowing the blade just to catch the rest of the water so that reduces a lot of drag as far as the fin is concerned making it uh, quite efficient and same on the backside on the up kick as the water passes over it just reduces the amount of drag going over the fin so it makes it quite easy to fin with um, and it is quite a short and stubby fin and quite wide so there's a lot of surface area when you're finning down but it's not too long you have much longer recreational type fins um, which are quite efficient in the water but when you're sitting on the boats they're quite long this is a quite short stubby fin so working in cramped environments or on boats this is ideal and it is one solid piece of of thermo molded rubber so it's a solid solid fin the chances of this fin ever breaking are pretty much zero it's a solid solid as we said military grade fin so overall I think it's a really good investment to make probably be the last pair of fins you ever buy in your life it's like a cockroach this thing's just not gonna die so that is the review of the Apex RK3 fin comes in a pair and uh, it's military spec to start with but not initially in the shocking pink but the cool colors they're coming out with today make these fins look really really pretty as well so it's like military chic mod military type fin which is awesome so 
If you guys enjoy these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to buy the fins, pop on over to our website, give them a purchase, and we'll ship them out to you anywhere in the country. If you want to follow us on any other social stream, go check out facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za. We've also got the Instagram, Twitstagram, all the grams, whatever it is, search it, we're bound to be there. We'll keep you up to date with all the funky things that we've got going on. And as always, please subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you up to date with all the cool things that we've got going on. So that's it from me, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the water really soon.